What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? The squad is hot right now. All right, we're 8 and 2 the last 10 days. Okay, and the only two games we lost, we came just under the line okay like we should be damn near 10 and 0 right now okay but hey it's all good we crushed yesterday the weekend was amazing we had a great great weekend with the squad go to greenlightdfs.com to join the squad for that dk cheat sheet the FanDuel line and the yahoo line we've been absolutely dominating mlb um oh yeah real quick i need to announce the winner of the 50 dollar giveaway from last week uh, if you're new to the channel, I give away $50 to a YouTube viewer um, every single Sunday. Uh, well, Monday, I'll announce uh, the week's winner of the 50. This week's winner is John, J-O-N, DeLucia. Okay, congratulations, John DeLucia. Hit me up on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL, or email me, Cameron, oh, uh, no, yeah, email me, DFSSquadCam at gmail.com. All right, congratulations. Make sure you like that video down below. Subscribe to the channel and comment anything in the comment section to get your name into this, man. I believe I've given away like $350 to $400 so far with this $50 giveaway so far. Um, and we're just still going, man. All right, I do giveaways all the time as well on Twitter at cam underscore ATL. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I always just do spur of the moment giveaways on there as well. You don't want to miss those. All right, let's go ahead and get straight into the high five, man. We've been on absolute fire. Let's start it off at pitcher, man. First pitcher that I'm going with is Jake Arrieta, 10-9 going against Miami. Uh, Miami is a, one of the most pitcher-friendly ballparks in the league. Miami's only implied to score about 3.6 runs, which is great for Arietta. Everything just points to a good, um, a amazing matchup. I mean, this shouldn't come as a surprise against Miami. A 23% K rate versus righties. Miami strikes out 23% of the time versus right-handed pitching. Arietta's been solid so far this year. I mean, the first two games were kind of mediocre. He only got 12 against Miami first game of the year. But he was kind of heating up. The last two, he's got 37 and 18. So I like Arietta a lot in this very pitcher-friendly ballpark in Miami. Lock him in. I also love Philly against Straley. I think Philly gets the W as well and gives Arietta that plus four. Next pitcher that I'm going with is Eduardo Rodriguez going against Kansas City. The reason I like this is because a lot of Kansas City's power comes from the left side with Duda and Moustakis. Okay? Now... Duda and Moustakis will be eliminated out of the equation. Not completely. I mean, they can still hit lefties. They are pro professional ball players, but their power takes a big hit. Okay? Uh, Moustakis doesn't hit lefties as well. Duda doesn't hit lefties as well. So it takes away two of the better hitters on this Kansas City offense. And this Kansas City offense isn't that great to begin with. Okay? So Eduardo Rodriguez should be able to have a very solid game here against Kansas City. Um, I absolutely love him. And on top of that, Boston is a huge favorite in this one. Um, Kansas City's only implied to score about 3.9. I expect Boston to score over 5 um, against this Kansas City pitcher, Hamill. Uh, Boston should be able to go crazy on him. Um, I love a Boston stack if you can afford it today. Um, I absolutely love it. So Eduardo Rodriguez, expect him to have a very good outing um, against Kansas City and get that W as well. At first base, I'm going with Ryan Braun, my favorite play of the day against lefty Finnegan. Here's the thing, guys. Ryan Braun is a lefty masher. He kills left-handed pitching, a 258 ISO and a 401 Woba versus left-handed pitching. On top of that, his history versus Finnegan is also good. Okay, Milwaukee's one of the higher implied totals of the day. 4.8 implied runs they're expected to score. Okay, I love a my Milwaukee stack against Cincinnati today. Ryan Braun is going to be the focal point of that stack for me. I love Ryan Braun. Lock him in against Finnegan, who gives up a 201 ISO to righties. Okay, so I absolutely love Ryan Braun. Lock him in. In the outfield, I got to go with Reese Hoskins at 5,200. I love the matchup against Straley. Now, Straley's got some good stuff. The problem with Straley is he hangs the ball right over the nice, juicy part of that plate too often. Okay, he gives up too many home runs. Okay, he really does. And Reese Hoskins is a guy who hits a ton of home runs. Now, listen to this history. Okay, in eight at-bats that he has faced Dan Straley, 
Reese Hoskins has six hits. Four of those hits went for extra bases. Three of them went over that outfield wall for a home run. And he only struck out once for a 750 batting average. Let me say that again. Reese Hoskins against Dan Straley is six for eight, three home runs, and a 750 batting average. Lock in Reese Hoskins. Don't overthink it. This dude's a monster. He hasn't had a huge game recently, so trends would point to him having a big game in this one. It's been a while since he's hit a dinger, matter of fact. So expect a dinger and a big game out of him in this one. I absolutely love Reese Hoskins. Okay, don't overthink the situation, guys. Lock in some Reese Hoskins, man, because this Miami bullpen, not only is Straley going to get murdered by Reese, but this Miami bullpen is 25th in the league versus right-handed bats. Okay, they're not good at all. Okay, so even when Straley leaves, this, these Philly guys should be able to rack up some runs. So I love it. Last but not least in the outfield, I'm going to finish it off with my main man, if I can find him. Yeah, he's way down here, which is why I'm putting him in the high five, because he's just way too cheap. Andrew McCutcheon at home in San Francisco, going against Lauer. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but McCutcheon, look, one thing we know, McCutcheon kills left-handed pitching, guys. All right, he's had a very average year so far. He's been okay, averaging about five to eight points a game, um, DraftKings points a game. So that's been all right. He's a guy who, you you know, he's got about a five-point floor he's going to get you. He's not going to get zero um, many times at all. He sat out the last game, did not play the last game. He got some rest. Now he's coming back against a bad lefty. Okay, on top of that, the wind is blowing out the center field at 12 miles, miles per hour today in San Francisco. Andrew McCutcheon kills lefties. A 243 ISO and a 396 Woba versus lefties. To top it off and make it even better, the short time lure, the San Diego pitcher, has been in the league. He's given up a 333 ISO and a 588 Woba, a 444 batting average to righties. Andrew McCutcheon should have a breakout game here at only 3,500. He is one of my favorite plays on the slate. And I don't expect him to be very high owned. So he might be one of those guys you want to throw into GPPs more than cash. Just seeing that, I mean, I don't, I don't know how high owned he ends up being. I honestly don't. Um, I see a lot of people probably stacking up Boston or uh, stacking up Milwaukee heavily and at 3,500, Andrew McCutcheon is a very good play here. And he's got some big upside too. Okay, he's got some big upside. So consider him for GPPs for sure. Got to put him in the high five. And that's it, guys. Jake Arrieta, Eduardo Rodriguez, Ryan Braun, Reese Hoskins, and Andrew McCutcheon is the high five. Go to greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. Get your hands on that player pool, that DraftKings Core 8, that FanDuel line, that Yahoo line. Man, it's been absolutely fire, man. All right, we are on track and killing it just like we did all last year um it's gonna be an amazing 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 season thank you guys for watching as always remember comment anything in the comment section to enter your name to that 50 dollars giveaway like the video down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on twitter at cam underscore atl and i'm out